Now in this example, we're gonna look at how to use the business model canvas to introduce a new sustainable product or service into your organization. And we're gonna look at a business model based around circular supply chains. These types of models seek to close the loop on material flows. Renewable, recycled, or highly recycled inputs are used in production processes, enabling partial or total elimination of waste and pollution. Waste becomes an asset, not a liability, that you pay to dispose of. In these models, products do not become end of life. Instead, they become end of current usage loop. A good example of introducing a new product into a business model is Adidas. Now, Adidas makes over 400 million pairs of shoes every year. Manufacturing that many shoes requires a lot of resources, but constantly creating new materials isn't great for the environment. So Adidas is turning to a different source. Now experts predict that in 30 years, there'll be more plastic in our oceans than fish. And one study estimates that 90% of seabirds have consumed some form of plastic waste. All that pollution on beaches and in the ocean is harmful to both marine life and humans. So Adidas is trying to stop some of that plastic before it reaches the ocean. Now in 2015, Adidas partnered with the environmental organization Parlay for the Oceans. Their goal, to turn marine pollution into sportswear, and they've made huge progress. Since the beginning of the partnership in 2015, they have produced almost 50 million pairs of shoes made in part with Parlay Ocean Plastic. This is what the business model looks like. So let's quickly look at Adidas's existing business model. The customer segments are consumers and athletes who are participating in a range of sports. Their value proposition is primarily high-performance sports shoes and apparel. Channels include bricks and mortar stores online as well as partnerships through retailers. Relationships, this is how you find, keep and grow your customers, range from social media advertising to brand partnerships with top athletes. Revenues come from the sale of shoes and apparel. Key resources include the factories and manufacturing equipment, intellectual property like patents, as well as staff and so on. Key partnerships might include various sports stars as brand ambassadors and material suppliers for the production process. Key activities include marketing and sales, product design and research and development. And finally, all of this adds together to provide the costs of production. Now let's look at how this new product made from ocean plastic waste could integrate into this business model. It all starts at the beach. Parlay and its partners collect trash from coastal areas like the Maldives. The waste is then sorted and the recovered plastic is sent to an Adidas processing plant. A new processing plant would be required in resources to crush, wash and dehydrate the waste, leaving nothing but small plastic flakes. New activities would be required to process the flake into filament. The flakes are heated, dried and cooled, then cut into small resin pellets. Normally, polyester is made from petroleum. In this case, Adidas melts these pellets to create a filament, which is spun into what they call ocean plastic, a form of polyester yarn. Adidas uses ocean plastic to form the upper parts of shoes and clothing like jerseys. Each item of the Parley collection is made from at least 75% intercepted marine trash. And they still meet the same performance and comfort standards of Adidas's other shoes. Looking at the sustainability impacts, the recycled polyester uses less water and fewer chemicals and helps prevent plastic pollution in the oceans. But this was just the first step. Adidas also developed a 100% recyclable shoe called the Future Craft Loop. This shoe is made to be remade. In this model, once the shoes come to the end of their life, they are returned to Adidas. And therefore, Adidas needs to include a take-back process, which is a type of reverse channel where the product flows back from the customer. Once they have the shoes back, they are washed, ground in the pellets, and melted into material for components for a new pair of shoes, with zero waste and nothing thrown away. With the help of a new circular business model, Adidas is using readily available material to manufacture new products, which is a big step towards a sustainable future.